I'll, I'll, I already I was just talking about the, the grips, so I'll just talk about the two grips I like to use uh, pretty quick to get it out of the way. Um, but the, I like to use the stack grip, power grip, the middle finger on the bottom, uh, and the pointer finger on top. I'll just come around and check it out and show you how I do it. Yep, kind of like to put a little pressure right there. Yep, you guys are all know how to do it, but put a little pressure like that. Feel that squeeze like that? If you can do that without me pushing the fingers. Tuck this in as well. The what? So when I explain, okay. I kind of say make a pistol. Yeah. And then exactly. Tuck it in. Yep. Bring yep. You don't want to have any slack like that. Okay. That's no good. So you want to have it as tight, snug to your hand as you can. And people that go like that, that's why they have, it wobbles like that. Cause, cause watch, it's it's able to. It's wobbling your hand. If you go like this, it's not gonna wobble unless your arm moves it. You know. So. I put it. Uh, I just put it snug where the disc is. I mean, when you throw, it's gonna it'll get out of the way. It's it, it's a subconscious thing. It's not gonna get. You think it's gonna get in the way, but it, when you're throwing it, it'll, it'll just drop at the last second. So, yeah, I like to just keep them right there, and, it, and they really they don't get in the way. Yep. And, and like I was telling everybody, I like to keep my fingers snug, and that way I was telling him it'll you won't get wobble on the disc. People that people that have a lot of wobble on the disc, they have a lot of you know, they, they don't they're not holding it tight enough. They, if they grip it, if that's solved, it's easy pro, solve, problem to solve. Just people just don't know why. They think it's their their swing or there's something they're doing, but most of the time it's just the grip. If you hold it tighter, have a tighter grip, then you won't have as much wobble in the, in the throw. So hold it out. Yep, it's snug. See how it feels snug like that? I mean, you're already doing it, but that's just, I'm just kind of showing you to, to. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Feel good? Yeah. I mean, I mean, some people do that, but I mean, I, I like to. You know, it's just if, if it works. Right. Yeah, you probably get a little more power because you have both fingers snapping it. Um, okay. Yeah, that's the other grip. That's the other grip that there is. I don't, I don't, I don't use it, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's it, the other grip is the, is it's another power grip. It's the st stack grip. I kind of call it. It's your pointer fingers kind of bent in like this, and your middle finger is the same spot, and and that's that, that's if that feels comfortable for you, you can do that. I like to do this the regular the regular power grip, and then the sidearm grip, the, p the sidearm fan grip is uh you know for like putters, short range, controlled shots. I like to kind of spread out my fingers. To, uh, you know my 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 middle finger is the same spot, but my my other finger is kind of like almost almost to the middle of the disc, not quite there, but and I like to use that for mid ranges and uh, put and uh, putters for shorter range shots. And when you're, um, you're rolling it right off your middle finger, right? When you're yeah, standing. exactly. Uh -huh. uh huh. That other one just gives you leverage on the disc, so it's more almost more controllable. I mean, some people don't like to do it, but I mean, I, I like to do it. Just feels like I have more more control on the disc. My pressure is right where the right where the rim and the, the top of the disc meet. It's uh there's like you can see where it, where it meets right there. I like to put my f finger right there so it can, kind of have something to hold on to. Yep. So kind of like right. See what I'm saying? Like right in here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. See right right in there. Yep. Right. Yeah. See right where the top rim and the yep exactly. See so you can f kind of feel it. Yep. Nice. You got that. Yep. You feel it. Yeah, you can feel exactly. Kind of. It's almost like an extra grip a little bit. Yep. You got it. You see what I'm saying? Like right in the rim and the. Right where the rim and the top of this disc meet. Yep, you got it. You guys all got it. All right. One last yep. Question. Yep. Thumb bent straight. Uh, you want you don't want it like this, and that because that that'll cause probably cause wobble in the throw. If you keep it snug like that, you want to have it snug. Keep the entire thumb yep. As close to the exactly. Yep. Possible. Yeah. That that and you don't want to hold it in the middle of the disc. I see some people hold it in the middle. That just gives that just causes resistance in the disc. You you want it to be as close to the edge of the not as close to the edge, but. You don't want it to be like off like this. That way it'll like slip out. But you want it to be like to the point where you can still control it, but it's not just gonna fall out. You don't. And if because if you have it in the middle, it's just that much resistance, and then that you have to go all the way from here to here to get the thumb off, and it just it causes weird flights. Um, um, like uh, I just I just put them right here just to kind of hold the disc snug, and and at, and, and 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 then when you're throwing, it's like almost simultaneous subconsciously your your disc they, they go out they'll go out of the way. But for first, yeah, I just kind of like. Yeah, exactly. Put them right there. I'm not really holding on. Yeah, I'm just kind of putting them up. I'm not really holding on. I'm not like holding under the disc or anything. I'm just kind of laying them there. I'm not. Like, I'm not gripping anything. Whether you're doing this or this, it's not really. A no. Yeah. I mean, it does. I don't think it matters too much. I, I like to. I like to do it just because it feels snug in your hand, and that's what I want. I want to make sure I have control of the disc. You know, I'm not, not going to slip out or anything like that. Any weird. Anything weird is going to happen. So, um, I'll base. You know, I can. I'll just start off by you. You can step up here and throw throw a few. Uh, most of you guys will probably be able to relate to him. I'm probably not going to get 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 through all of you, but I'll uh, I'll show him a few things, and I'm sure some of you guys can can uh, learn from it because most of the, most people have the same same problems. Yeah, just throw a few in the net and.
There you go. Nice. Throw one more. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Um, so I don't care about where the disc goes. I'm just worried about your your, the, your mechanics. Um, and you have, like you said, you have a lot of power and you, you um, you're really good at sidearm. But I think you know you can you can get even more. I think that when when you're throwing, you're kind of coming back to like right here, and, and instead of coming back all the way to here to where you have you can maximize that much more power. Instead of instead of from here to here, you're coming from here to here, and and it's that's that much more is that much more power that you can have. So. You can just, you're not gonna throw it, but just pretend like you're throwing and then stop in your backswing. So stop. Yep, exactly. And it, 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 you, you were all the way back. It's, but the first few times you threw, you weren't all the way back. But as soon as I told you to, you, you reach back and, and just, you can just throw it and just feel how it feels. I don't care about the flight, but just you can, you can usually tell all the way back. There you go. Yep, that was good. But see, it's, it's gonna be erratic at first, but once you, once you get it figured out, you'll, you'll be able to notice a big difference. And, and that's and that's that's what a lot a lot of people have that problem, is they're not is they're not bringing their arm all the way back and they're, and they're, and they're just you're losing out on that much more power. If you bring your arm all the way back, it's gonna, it's just to maximize your power. Yeah, yeah go for this it. This is where I've been. Yeah. yeah, here you go. You did you did reach back a little bit, but you can like I said here, do the same thing as him when you just stop when you're about to when you're about to throw. Stop and you reach back. Yep. So See, look at your arm. Yep. Yeah, that's how not I've good. been. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, all the way back. There you go. That was a little bit better. Oh, yeah. You didn't you didn't go all the way back. You still didn't go all the way back. But but I mean, you got you got a lot more power than you normally did. Yeah, you, you can feel it. And then and and that and that's that goes hand in hand with with the momentum. Is if 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 you're not going all the way back, you're not gonna have that much momentum swing. So you're not gonna be like coming through like this. I see a lot of people they throw a sidearm and they're just kind of like this. But if you're really, really trying to throw a lot of big power sidearm, you're gonna like taking a big step at the end because you're having that much more power to come through, you know. And as far as uh, kind of like accuracy goes, and is that part is um, I like I like like I was showing showing you guys, the other group is I like to just keep my arm arm flat here. I'll get a disc and show you guys this. Does This applies this applies to basically any any type of sidearm that you're throwing. Um, you oh you don't you don't really want to bend your arm like this or like this that that you know that's just not good you don't you get erratic throws, but if you keep your arm flat like this you can see look I'm not moving my arm from the ground I'm, I'm I can throw whichever shot I want I can throw I want to throw like this I just move my wrist like that and I throw it like that you know obviously I'm not throwing it hard I'm just showing you the for, as an example and if I want to throw you know a hyzer I just bend my wrist like that down and I just snap like that. I'm not. I'm not gonna go like this or like this. And that's what I see a lot of beginners doing. They just go like, you know, and it's just, it's just thrown across their body, you know. But if it's the most consistent way to throw sidearms, is you just keep your arm flat and you just you, you, you variate your your wrist to whichever way you want to throw it. So if I, if I want to throw an anhyzer, I just lock it like this the whole time and throw it like that. Throw a hyzer, I just lock it like that the whole time. Throw it. I'm not. I'm not gonna go bend my arm and everything like that. It's just make it's too complicated. It's just I like to keep it as basic as possible and that way you get the most consistent throws. And also uh, as far as run-ups go, I know a lot of people are uh, I'll make a little tee pad here. Um, uh, I'll, I'll show you kind of how, how uh, just to the different types of shots and how you want to, might want to run up. So for a sidearm I like to call it like the clock technique. Uh, so obviously, you know, I'm pointing it to, you know, this way. Um, if I want to throw straight, um, I'm gonna stand. Want to stand straight like this. Obviously, you're gonna, if if you're if you're running up, you're gonna end up like this anyway. I'll show you how, what I mean. So if I if I'm just gonna throw a standstill shot, I'm gonna stand with my hips squared to my target. If I'm throwing straight like this, so I'll show you. I like to start off pointing at with my target like this, and then kind of this. Like I'm, I just took a step, did an X step, but my my I did a run up, but my it's like I'm throwing a standstill shot. So I'm lined up the same way, um, and the same thing is if you want to throw like a like a, if I want to throw a hyzer, I'm not gonna want to stand like this, across and throw across my body. I wanna I wanna line my feet up to where I'm throwing with my body. So if, I, if I'm throwing a hyzer, I'm not gonna want to go like this and then throw across my body like that. It just feels weird. So hyzer, if I'm throwing a hyzer, I wanna line up my feet like this, and, and throw like that straight shot. Basically, I just wanna line up my feet basically straight with my target, and then an anhyzer. You know, I'm gonna want to go like this and throw like that, and that applies with the same thing with the run up. If this is a tee pad, instead of my feet moving, I'm just moving the way I run up. So I want to throw a hyzer from left to right. I just want to run up this way and throw a hyzer. I'm not gonna want to run up this way and 
throw it across my body like that. It just, it's awkward. I see a lot of people, they, they want to throw a really far shot, so they just run up and go, and go like this, and they're throwing completely across their body. If you, if you line the way you run up, it just makes it so much easier to, to where you want to throw. So that, that, that applies to upshots, drives, it doesn't matter what you're throwing. You never want to throw across your body. You know, you get injured and all kinds of other stuff. The shots aren't going to be good, you know. So that's, uh, like I said, that applies to just about any, any, any sidearm you're throwing. Um, any guys have any questions? Okay. Let me throw on the sidearm and you tell me. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, that was good. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I and that that's because your arm was like this, and it, and it automatically. That's why your angle was like that, and your and your disc went directly in the ground. If you keep it flat like this, you'll you will never you'll never go on the ground into the ground. And so, and also, your arm was kind of not all the way back. I know it's a weird habit to break, but if, but if you're just naturally used to coming, doing your natural backswing, but if you bring it all the way back and all the way forward, you'll have that much more power. So try that. So when you're backswing, just stop. Stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you didn't stop. Just, in your, just do your normal throw. And it, yeah, so it's all right. Um, in your normal throw, just when you're backswing, just stop. You don't have to reach all the way back. Just do your normal swing. All right. So yep. Exactly. Normal, I mean, that exactly. Normal. Yeah. And that's if you go here. You, 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 at the at the end of your end scheme of things, you're not changing anything. You're just going here, and then you, and then you're doing the same 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 swing you're normally been doing, but you're just getting that extra snap, and that you that that gives you the extra time to build up power to go to, to your normal swing. So all the way back. Yep. There you go. You can, I can already see the, the snap. See what I'm saying? You're like it's the same thing as if your arm. Your my arm's not going to change right here. See what I'm saying? Sorry, you guys can't see me. My arm's never gonna change right here. It's always the same as if I'm, but it's, I'm just reaching back to here, and then my arm breaks. I'm, I'm not, it's the same. It's the same motion. I'm just adding this extra, extra however many. I don't know how many feet it gives you, but it just adds the extra power to get to the point where you're, as if you're throwing a standstill shot, except you're adding that much more, maximizing your power. So that, that, that's what I was showing with him, and it, I think, I think it, if you practice it, it'll make a big difference. Yeah, go for it. You see what I'm saying with that, though? Yeah. It doesn't change anything. All you do is the back swing, and then and then, you're, and then and it goes to your normal swing, except you have it adds a lot more distance. There you go. You you here? Try this one. All right. And when you're, you're you you did the same thing as as I was showing. And it's just a natural oh, habit to not do that. Yeah. <laughs> here you don't have to throw. He's in the way. But but when you're not, when you're about to throw. If, if just every once in a while, just look at yourself and just stop, and, and just kind of adjust it. And and like I said, if you're learning something new like that, you can just st start off by standing still, and just stand there and throw some shots, and then incorporate. There you go. Where do you place your thumb? Um, I like to place it right in the. On the edge. Yeah, on the edge, so like right I was showing there. him. But yeah, you know, I think you you have you have good mechanics, and and uh, as far as distance wise, I think if you if you do that and here hold the disc. <laughs> I um, earlier. What? That that, 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 just, told me. Oh, nice. That um, was mine, man. And kind of try to bend your wrist a little bit too, so that that way, yeah, it will just sideways, yeah. And and then, also, obviously, you're gonna wanna, you know, you're not see how you're not moving your arm like this or like this. You're, you're just moving, you know, like that. Yeah, you know, you can move this and have a tight grip. So you just move it to where you want. You lock it in, and then you throw like that. So obviously, you're not gonna lock it in and throw it like this and then roll your wrist. You just keep it the same way. If you want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you bend your wrist, and then you, that way you snap your wrist and your arm at the same time, right at the end. So it's a lot to think about, but I mean, if, if, if you're, if, if, I'll just give you some things to practice. If you're, if you're willing, you know, willing to put the time in, you, you can, you, it's a really easy way to get a lot more distance. Yeah. For sure, yeah. There you go. And you still didn't bring your arm all the way back. And it's going to be a weird habit, to, but if you remember it and you remember to practice it, it, it can, it'll really help you. There you go. That was good. And you have a good side. Like I said, most of you guys have a good side arms, but uh, but they, they, you know, you can always be better. Right? Yeah. You didn't you didn't bring it all the way back. You kind of a lot of people like to tuck it into their shoulder, like to tuck it into their kind of into their waist. And but if you if you come right here, and then yeah, you just break your arm back here. Do the same swing as you normally do. Break your arm. Then do your tuck tuck your elbow in and have your arm flat. Except just extend your arm all the way back. Right, yeah, you're not. You, it's the same thing. Like, like if I'm going from here to here, my arm has to break. So it's as long as it's flat, you go back, all the way back, and it's breaking right there. It's, you're not, I'm not gonna break my arm and go like this. So just bring your arm all the way back. There you go. Yes, there you go. You felt, you felt yeah, for sure.
じゃあ。